Hello, my name is AJ Birch. I'm a self-published author based in Dorking. I've written this book, The Last Witch Beyond the Forest, which is a fantasy novel for children. And I'm going to do three things in this video. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story of my book. I'm going to read a short excerpt from my book. And then I'm going to tell you about something really exciting that the local library has got planned. So first things first, what is the story about? Well, the people of Celsior have been ruled by the goblins for 12 years and they have had enough. They need to come up with a plan to get rid of the goblins once and for all. Nobody has any good ideas until 11 year old Lily comes along and she suggests a journey through the forest and beyond to find the last witch living in the land of Zelnia. Just two sets of obstacles stand in Lily's way, her parents and the creatures who dwell in the forest. And we're going to come on to one of those creatures in the next bit of the video where I'm going to read a bit uh, from my novel, which is from chapter six. The chapter is called Wings. And here we go. All of their dreams were interrupted by the sound of wings flapping. It was a terrifying noise, loud and threatening. Lily was the first to wake up, and it sounded like, and felt like, wings were flapping right by her head. The fluttering was soon accompanied by the clap of thunder. Oh, very helpful, Lily thought, as rain started to come down. But what was helpful was that lightning soon came, and it brightened her surroundings. The shadows of wings danced across the tree trunks. Lily realised what these nocturnal creatures were. Bats. The bats were whirling overhead. Timothy, Stephen and Gregory woke up and heard the sound of bats flying around them and felt the rain fall on their heads. At first they did not know whether this was a nightmare or they had woken up and this was real life. Lily, what's happening? Stephen asked in terror. Just remain calm, Lily said. It's nothing to worry about. Lily opened up her rucksack and got out the lantern and the matchbox. She struck the match and she soon lit the candle inside the lantern, which helped to illuminate the area. Jonathan was the last to wake up. He looked around at the bats flying around them and panicked. Run, Jonathan shouted. Everybody run. Jonathan sprinted off followed by Timothy, Stephen and Gregory. The bats swooped down and pursued the running boys. Lily ran behind the bats and the four boys, carrying her lantern by its handle, annoyed by the fact that her companions had decided to run. The boys looked behind them, terrified as the bats continued to pursue them. The bats beat their wings in an intimidating manner. So what do you think the bats look like in the scene that I read? Have a go at drawing a picture of the scene for the library's Halloween competition. You can send in your entries in Branch at Dorking, Horsley, Leatherhead or Bookham Libraries. Or take a photo and send it to horsley.library at surreycc.gov.uk or dorking.library at surreycc.gov.uk there will be a prize for the spookiest and kookiest drawing. So that's all for me. Get drawing, good luck, and I look forward to seeing your pictures.